The Stan 1 STMH1 rebound concrete test hammer, also referred to as a mechanical concrete test hammer, Swiss hammer and accelerometer, is a non-destructive test instrument and the least expensive method for estimating the compressive strength of concrete for use by structural civil engineers, technical support teams for testing over large areas of building structures to delineate zones of poor quality or deteriorated concrete present in the structure. Test newly built structures which are under construction, after concrete, maturation to 28 days to corroborate the strength of concrete. In addition, periodic building health monitoring for older concrete structures without inducing any damage to the structure. The STMH1 rebound test hammer is engineered with an all-aluminum body manufactured to the highest quality with no plastic inner parts, for durability. Zinc-coated metal strip compatible with disc which ensures long life of the product and will not wear due to continuous usage. Step 1. Preparing test surface using the abrasive medium grain carborundum stone provided with the instrument to rectify surfaces with rough textures or with traces of mortar to smoothen the test surface. Step 2. To ensure distance between two points of impact not less than 20 mm draw up a suitable 20 mm grid box with scale and pencil on concrete surface. Step 3. Simply push the concrete hammer against the surface at moderate speed until the impact is triggered. Push the button to lock the impact plunger after impact, then read off and note down rebound value R indicated by the pointer on the scale. Release the button to reset the hammer. The number of impacts is based on standard followed. As example, EN, 9 impacts, ASTM, 10 impacts, IS, 6 impacts, etc. The following example shows how rebound number is calculated and reported. Following nine readings are obtained from test location. Discard the readings that differ from the average of nine readings, with more than 20 plus or minus percent difference from the median. Take the average value and use the plus or minus 20 percent formula. We can see that 50 value, larger than upper limit 39.9, and 25 value, lower than lower limit 26.4 should be discarded from the list and the average of the remaining readings when calculated and divided by the number of impacts. Then the value is reported as average rebound number. Note. If more than two readings differ from the average by 20% units, discard the entire set of readings and determine rebound numbers at new location within the test area. Evaluating data using rebound R graph with calculated average rebound value, 31.28. Determine which conversion curve is appropriate depending on impact direction. Hammer can be used at 0 degrees, 90 degrees and minus 90 degrees, different angles means different curves to be followed via graph. Then, using the average rebound value R in the selected conversion curve, determine the average compressive strength of the concrete. 